walk the talk and talk the walk There's a miracle in your mouth There's a miracle in your mouth There's a miracle in your mouth When you walk the talk and talk the walk There's a miracle in your mouth The woman with the issue of blood said to herself If I can touch his garment I know I'll be well The centurion said to Jesus Just speak the word For I know your authority And there's a miracle in your word There's a miracle in your mouth Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. This is Faith and Hope with Charity. Uh, again, I have with me my mentor, uh, Evangelist Roy Castro. He's going to share some word with us today. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited at what the Lord's doing. He's moving. Um, you know, we have, um, he's, he's really been working. There's a lot of uh, revivals that are coming up this summer. I'm excited about. We're going to throw the tent up on the street corners. We're going to, we're just going to share the word of God and, and show the people that, that Jesus is there and that he does care for them and that they are forgiven and free, you know, for eternity. Mm -hmm. Um, I encourage you guys to follow along with the blog, www.keepingfaithinyourears.com, keepingfaithinyourears.com. Also, if you would like to donate or do um, any help that you can to the Fivefold Ministries or to us as we do these revivals and, and try to reach these people that are out there that are lost and, and just need to hear the word, um, you can go to jamforjesus.org. It's jamforjesus.org. Um, we have some scarves and things posted on there. I did get all that up there. Um, I believe those are little bracelets correct mm -hmm. some little bracelets um just an appreciation for your donation to help share the word of jesus christ and, and get it out there so um if you want to go there you can just click on the donate button there is also a donate little page there that you can click on and, and view the scarves and the and the things like that um also um you can watch pamela lockhart pastor pamela lockhart she comes on at two o'clock she's the hour of compassion i do believe we will be on her show today also um joining in on that um so so get ready you guys you know I know that the Lord is moving, um, that, that time is short, you know. Uh, it, what matters is, is sharing the word of Jesus, letting these people know that, that they are forgiven and forgiven and free through Jesus Christ. And, uh, and time is so short, so, so we just have to let them know because he says to only believe. It's by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimonies. And if we aren't sharing the word and we aren't telling them about Jesus and, and that he died for them and they are forgiven for their past, then how do they know? So we have to get that word out there. Um, I always like to start off with prayer, um, just for anybody that's listening. Um, you know, And I'll let my grandfather uh, start us off here and just say a quick little prayer and then we'll, we'll get right into the word today. The Spirit's kind of leading me to just let the word flow and and let God speak to you guys. So go right ahead, Grandpa. Abba, Father, in the name yes, of Lord, Jesus, you, Lord, Jesus. we just humble ourselves yes. before you, Lord. Thank you. Father. And submit completely, totally, soul, yes, mind, and body, Lord. Father God, unto Lord. thee, Lord. Holy Spirit, you ask that you may quicken yes, us, Lord, sir. to bring the voice of your yes. word out there that the people will be prepared, yes, Father Lord. God, in expectancy yes. to receive from you that living word, mm -hmm. Father God, the voice of your word that can change yes, the them completely, totally, you, Father Jesus. God, that people that are not saved they may receive the Lord yes, Jesus Lord. Christ, your personal Savior, yes, people that need to be baptized with the Holy Spirit, that they may receive it, Lord, and Jesus. people that need healing, they may receive a miracle, a new body part in their yes. physical bodies, Lord, yes, because all Jesus things are possible. Me. There's nothing impossible with yes. you, Father God, and all things are possible to him that believeth. So, Father God, we just turn this service all to the Lord, in yes, the name Lord. of Yeshua Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Because you are God's beloved, right? Amen. 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 I believe we're going to talk about uh, salvation today, correct? Amen. amen. Salvation. And also one of the most important thing, uh, the second experience of salvation is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And I believe uh, we need it. We all need it. Okay. Yes. Uh, because some some Christians are, uh, are, are not are not baptized with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues in the with the fire of the Holy Ghost. They when you get saved, you you have received you the Holy Spirit. You have the Holy Spirit when you get saved. Amen. But the, the 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 baptism of the Holy Spirit is your prayer language that your spirit prays direct to God without your carnal mind. It is your spirit, man, praying to God direct in things that we don't know. 
Amen. Amen. They're so spiritual that we don't know because the we live in the natural. Either. Amen. He doesn't know. That's right. And he doesn't know what we're saying because it's in the spirit realm. Amen. Amen. And then, but he, we, we, Paul says, I pray in the understanding and, and, and I pray in the spirit. I sing in the, in the spirit. I sing Amen. in the understanding. That's so right. uh, I'm, I'm going to bring this up because we got to take care of that. Uh, uh, the weakness uh, that we go through, we're weak in certain areas of our lives and a spiritual yes. walk trying to follow the Lord. So I want to bring some things that will help us to to overcome this weakness that, that we go through, all of us, uh, uh, as a human being, because we're still in this flesh. Amen? That's right. But as we're trying to press on to the mark of the high calling, that we have to learn how to get out of these uh, circumstances that we go through every day. Every day. Every Amen. Day. The closer you get to God, you know that the enemy is going to be to try to stop you. But Paul says, I press on to the mark, mark of the, of the high call. And amen. amen. So I just want to share, uh, uh, you know, uh, certain things. And, and then uh, uh, we'll, we'll just get into the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, your victory over your weakness will unlock victories for others, even if they are unsafe or unaware uh, of your weakness. Amen. Amen. Uh, your weakness is always an enemy to to thankfulness. Okay. You are never thankful for a weakness. Amen. Amen. It is una unappreciated. It will choke out any sign of thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. That so, is so true. Amen. And then God makes every effort to reveal your weakness to you before it destroys you. Okay. Amen. And you can see that in Luke 22, verse 31. Luke 22, verse 31. Amen. It said, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, hallelujah, behold, Satan has desired to have you, that he may stiff you as sweet. Mm. As sweet. Okay? Amen. Then the other point is, it's impossible to know and recognize your own weakness before others knows it. Amen. Oh, they know it. Amen. They Amen. know it, and they're, they they're going to use it against you Amen. as often and, as they can. And then, and you can read that on on, on Matthew twenty six, verse thirty three, and thirty five, and seventy three to, to seventy uh, five. Matthew chapter twenty six. You can read all that. Amen. Amen. Now, now, in the last one will be overcoming your weakness brings incredible rewards. For all eternity. Mm, hallelujah. Mm, amen. amen. Hallelujah. So, and then uh, uh, here's, your weakness is not a whimpering puppy to be fed That's when right. it is hungry. Your weakness is a deadly rabies, a wolf with rabies to be despised, rejected, and destroyed. Mm. Don't make friends with weakness. Make weakness your enemy. Amen. Oh, it cripples you. Amen. It will cripple you, hold you down, keep you in bondage. Amen. You will be miserable. Now, the baptism of the Holy Spirit is is, is it, the second place of the salvation. Okay, because God wanted wanted make sure that you have the 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 most holy faith prayer that is the baptism of the Holy Spirit in June twenty, uh, June June twenty. Uh, it's only one chapter, verse twenty. He says that your most holy faith prayer praying in your most holy faith prayer why because when you pray in the spirit you're not connected with your carnal mind and the devil amen. doesn't know what you're saying but right. you sp only your spirit man and god knows amen. amen and the holy ghost amen praise the lord amen hallelujah it's an outwardly expression amen. of the inwardly changed amen praise you god know, you're born again you're made anew and that's the expression of it right there because you uh -huh. know as uh, someone had said to me before that that it's the gift is the Holy Spirit that Amen. you receive, but the evidence is the speaking in tongues. Amen. Amen. And, and, and we can see that, you know, when we go to Acts 1 8, it says, Acts 1 8 says, But ye will or shall receive power after the Holy Ghost Amen. has come upon yes. you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea, Samaria, into the uttermost parts of the world. Hallelujah. You cannot be a witness without the Holy Spirit. That's Amen. Right. And the witness of what? Of signs and wonders that follow us, they believe in His name. Right. Because the Holy Ghost will quicken your spirit, your mortal body. Hallelujah. Because we know that, uh, that Romans 8, 11 says, If the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead yes. dwells in you, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead will quicken your mortal bodies Hallelujah. by the spirit that dwells in you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And then in Acts uh, uh, chapter 2, verse 2 and 5. Acts chapter 2, verse 2 and 5. And he says, and a sound came suddenly out of heaven as a violent wind, 
and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Oh, I like to bring the point on that. Yes, sitting. sitting. <laughs> you were relaxing. You were waiting. That's you know, right. Uh, the, the, the church had got a tradition. Where let's all stand up and praise God. Well, it's okay. You want to do Amen, it. Amen, yeah. But you don't have to stand up. Amen. That's right. You can sit well, and relax and praise s- Him. Amen. You can sit down and relax and praise Him because here they were sitting when suddenly the Holy Ghost came upon Him. Amen. Amen. The verse 3 said, And divers tongues like fire were seen by them, and flames set upon each one of them. And number 4 it says, And all were filled by the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues or in other languages, Amen. just as the Spirit was giving them to speak out boldly. Hallelujah. In verse number 5, it says, And there were Jewish people staying in Jerusalem, devout people from all the nations under. And when this sound was made, a multitude gathered and was amazed, because while they were speaking, they were all hearing their own in their own language <laughs> you see what happens is there were all, all all kinds of people at that time from different countries from different nations different languages well what they heard the holy ghost speak when speaking in the, they heard in their own language and they knew later on it said they knew that that that, that all these guys that were talking to the other fishermen were unlearned yeah they were not educated they were unlearned okay and they were speaking in other tongues. Praise God. Amen. Worshiping and praising the Lord. Hallelujah. Right. We're not talking different languages here, like Amen. Spanish and English yeah, and, yeah, and French, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And there was unknown to them, see. Yeah. Like one time uh, when I first got baptized in the Holy Spirit, I, uh, I went to Assemblies of God Church, uh, Riverside Tabernacle here in Flint, and, uh, and somebody uh, spoke, spoke, and, uh, and, and, and a message in tongues. Then later on, they translated well, I knew the one of the words that said la sangre, which in Spanish means the blood. The blood. So when they interpreted, they said the blood. So I knew it was the interpretation of the uh, of the language that they spoke on. Amen. It was uh, Latin, okay? Amen. So I knew it was for real. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So anyway, in the Acts 8, um, uh, yeah, in Acts 8, verse 5, 8, and 12, it says, we see Philip's here, here. We see Philip's preaching, okay, in, in Samaria, and the people believe as they saw the signs and wonders that the people were healed, set free from demons, and all the people rejoice and and believe and baptize. Okay, when we get okay, when we get saved, like I said before, you receive okay the 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 Holy Spirit. You receive the Spirit of God into your spirit because your spirit is born again. Amen. Amen. With the Spirit of God. That's right. Okay. Now, we receive the Holy Spirit. He, he begins to live inside of us. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we, we got to start learning to live from the inside, inside out. out. Okay. Is that, but the second experience here in the baptism of the Holy Spirit is not a water uh, sin, a sin, you know. Uh, 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 symbolizes death, okay? That's right. And when, when you go under the water and up, symbolizes the resurrection, okay? Following the steps of Jesus, you know, as he baptized him, John the Baptist, amen? amen. Being born again of the Spirit, okay? That's Just right. a symbol, amen? Of uh, being saved. Outwardly expression. Outwardly Hallelujah. expression of the resurrection, okay? That's right. We were resurrected, we were dead in sin and trespasses, now we were born again, amen? Hallelujah. Now, the baptism of the Holy Spirit is a prayer language, not from your mind, or a carnal mind, but mm. from your spirit man that was born again. Amen. Your spirit man has to learn to pray direct to God because Amen. he knows everything. Amen. Amen. Our, our carnal mind does not. Okay. It, uh, so here, okay. <laughs> Amen. And, uh, okay. Here, uh, in, in the working, uh, uh, the spirit is the one that is working when someone gets saved. Okay. Someone has the spirit and the safe the safe person learns to pray in the understanding his language okay but when the safe person get baptized into the holy spirit he received the prayer language of his inner spirit man prayer and an unknown tongue Amen. because your mind is not praying because it is unknown in another language unknown to you your spirit pray directly to god and here on uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 2.9, 1 
First Corinthians 2, 9 says, he said, I say not seen, ears and not heard, neither perceive it in the heart of men what God has prepared for them to love it. So God has a lot of things prepared for us, but we got to enter into the spirit realm that we can reach out into the supernatural and bring him out for us into the natural. And that's the way we do it. We don't know what's going around our families, our relatives, Christian brothers. They might be in danger. They might have problems. They might have needs. And, and when you pray, you're praying for them even with you not knowing at that time. Amen. I remember one time when uh, Marky, my grandson, was up north, and God woke me up about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, and I started praying, I started praying, and interceding for him. So I didn't know. But later on, I found out, uh, you, you know, out there where, where, where Connie, my daughter, lives, as, as Marky was leaving there in the morning, uh, uh, over to the stop sign, and there's a hill come straight down to that stop sign where they're going to get out of that mm -hmm. driveway, okay? And uh, and uh, he was going to go, he was there on that stop sign, and his brother-in-law called him back, okay? And, and, and when he called him back, he, he reversed his truck. And then at that same time, a car turned over, coming down the hill, and landed right there where the stop sign was. Where he would have been. It, where, where he would have been. See, I didn't know, but the Holy Ghost knew. They know all. It's very important that we must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit because there are things that we don't know, but God knows. That's and right. when we submit our spirit man unto him, he's going to lead us, direct us, and guide us. Amen. Amen. Into Amen. all truth. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jude 20, he said, you, he said your most holy prayer. Praying always in your most holy fair prayer in the spirit. In the That's spirit. what spirit. Hallelujah. Okay. Supernatural intervention. Supernatural intervention that God does for us, for our families, ministry, jobs, business, protection, provision that we don't know. But God knows about everything that surround our everyday life. Amen. Amen. He does. That's, he that's does. what the Holy Spirit is all about, to help Amen. us. He knows He's, it all. Jesus said, I will send forth the Comforter. Why? That's right. Because we need him here. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Peter, who denied Christ three times. <laughs> I mean, cowardly, he denied him. Amen. Three times. Amen. Uh, but after the Holy Ghost came upon him, he became bold, <laughs> fearless. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. And in Acts 2, 14 and 15, Get Acts chapter truth. 2. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Acts chapter 2, verse 14 and 15, he said, But Peter, as he stood up with the eleven, uh, was, uh, rise, he, he, he raised his voice and spoke out to them, men, Jewish people, and all those who are visiting Jerusalem, let the let this be known to you and pay attention to my words for these are not drunk as you assume right. for it is Amen. the third hour of the day nine o'clock in the morning Amen. right? That's and, right. but this is that which was spoken through the prophet joel and it will be in the last day says the lord God, I shall pour out my spirit mm -hmm. upon all flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we got to get back to that because there are a lot of Christians, you know, they're yet not being baptized in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. And they're alive. They're already being baptized, but they're empty. They got to yes. be filled again. You got to fill yourself with the presence of God. You got to fill yourself with the praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. Right. Preparing yourself for every day because every day has its evil. Amen. Right. Okay. In St. John 14. St. John chapter 14, verse 16 and 17. St. John chapter 14, verse 16 and 17. He said, that by, and that's why Jesus said to the disciples, I will ask the Father, and so that he will, would be with you forever. He will give you another comforter. Uh -huh. Amen. The spirit of truth. What do you mean? The spirit of the word. That's because right. Jesus said in St. John 6, 63, he said, The words that I speak unto you, their spirit and their life. Amen. Spirit and life. Amen. And he said, The spirit of truth whom the world is not able to accept Except. because it does not see him right. or does not know him. Yes. You know because he, rem he remains inside of you and beside him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In St. John 17, 17, before Jesus went to the cross, and, uh, Jesus prayed this prayer. He said, Father, sanctify them to thy truth. Thy word is true. Amen. Uh, the spirit of truth is his word. The Father sanctifies through his word, through his truth. Amen. Amen. Because it is impossible for God to lie. Amen. Well, Romans 8, 16 says that the spirit itself will bear witness with Amen. your spirit that Amen. you are Amen. the child of God. Amen. It Amen. doesn't matter what you go through. He's there. Yeah, right? yeah. And he tells you that once you're saved, the Spirit itself will bear witness to your spirit so you know. 
and, and, and a lot of times too, you know, um, the enemy comes and messes you up, you know, you make a mistake, you fall down, and he tries to condemn you, he tries to bring all kinds of stuff. Mm. But I always remember this, Jesus said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Even in the Old Testament, when they were under the law, where everything was going on, and even the Hebrew children, and, and, and Daniel, and all of them, though, where they were, I mean, God always was there and brought them always out. Always there, even, that's even, right. Even the Hebrew children and the fire, the, the fourth man was there. So now we're under grace, okay? He will not leave us nor forsake us. Doesn't matter what you go through, but what He wants you is to go through it and stay away from it. Uh, uh, do the best to not to make the same mistake and go on with God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God, because you can learn by those experiences. You can learn. Amen. Amen. Well, He didn't come and, to give us more law. No, He amen. came to give us grace. Amen. <laughs> amen. So He said, "Do not forget the speaking in tongues is not only an experience or uh, uh, a." a what is it? Advantage or uh, what is it? The, ad, the advantage or of uh, uh, actually yes, it's an advantage of in feeling, in feeling, in feeling yes. the Holy Spirit, being filled with the Holy Ghost, because there's where the oil and there's where the wine comes from from the Holy Spirit. But an experience can uh, containing uh, continue an experience is continuing. For the rest of our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. If we keep this the rest of our lives, we're going to make it. Amen. Amen. Whatever we Amen. go through, That's we're going right. to make it. Our family, our house is going to make it. If we teach them. Amen. Amen. A prayer life uh, is, is a style, a prayer lifestyle, so that the Amen. Holy Spirit helping us in assistance in our uh, adoration and worshiping God that shall never stop. A continually thing pressing on to the mark of our high calling. Hallelujah. hallelujah. This will help us to be more conscious, hallelujah, at all times of His presence. When we continually praying and worshiping God, praying in your most holy, holy. faith prayer in the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Jude 20. Okay. Now, uh, if I can be conscious, okay, every day of the inside presence of the Holy Spirit will affect my life on the outside of me. Amen? Amen. Amen. And, and it will with you. You just, just do this. Amen. Then I can be and do what I was called to do and be. You know, God continually reminds me how he spoke to me several times with an audible voice. Just like he spoke to Moses, he spoke to me. And he changed my name. He called, he called me Thou Art Mine. Clearly. Hallelujah. Mm. A voice, a loud voice. Hallelujah. Several times he called, talked Amen. to me without a voice. He woke me up the other night, and he just kept saying Isaiah 44, Isaiah 44, Isaiah 44. So I got up and read it, and it says the exact same. I have chosen thou are mine. Amen, amen. amen. It said, and the, he will show us. Yeah, well, but, but, but we've got to seek him, amen. That's right. Hallelujah. If you're not spending if time with him, how can you hear him? How can you know? With all your heart, with all your mind, with all your, you got to seek Him. That's Amen. Right. Hallelujah. And then he, he will answer. Amen. Amen. The temple of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. In, in 1 Corinthians 3.16, it says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of <laughs> the oh, sanctuary yes. temple of God, and yes. the Spirit of God dwells in you. Uh -uh. Yes. Amen. You know, if that, if the Holy Spirit will quicken this continually, continually. We won't be able to make the mistakes that we do sometimes. Amen. Oh, we all do. We all do. Praying in tongues is the agreement according to the perfect will of, of God. God. Let me say that again. Praying in tongues is is the agreement according to the perfect will of God. Amen. Okay, you got something there? Pray. You want to add to that? Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, you know, I, I'm just kind of reading over stuff that I had written down. It said, um, Christ for you is the end of law. Amen. You are made righteous through Jesus Christ. That sin, sin dominates you under law, and it will keep you from grace. You are not under law anymore. That spirit lives inside of you. Amen. So you now continually cleansed by Jesus Christ. It doesn't mean you get back up and keep doing what you were doing. Mm -hmm. When he says get back up, he's like, get back up. Press into me. Draw nigh unto me, and I will draw unto you. So you just get back up and keep pressing into him. And he will con continually He will cleanse you and keep leading you into his truth and into his perfect will. And if you're praying in that spirit and, and just speaking to God, he will guide you to his perfect will. He will show you just as he woke me up the other night and kept saying, Isaiah 44, Isaiah 44. And I read it just as he woke my grandfather up many years ago and audibly said to him, I have chosen you, thou art mine. Seek him, he will show you. He says, 
those who diligently seek me, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he will show himself to you. And, and he, his word is truth. He is not a man that he should lie, and his word will go forth. And I, and I promise you that if you seek him, with it, just seek him with your heart. No matter what you've done, and, and neither of us are perfect. Every day things come at you, and sometimes you fall in little areas or not. The point is, is you get back up and you seek him. You just seek him, and he will show you who he is. You will see Jesus is the one. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And he has set you free. It's a gift. You don't have to do anything. You can't even earn it. There's nothing you can do. If you are serving, trying to earn by your own works or anything that you're doing, I promise you, you're doing it wrong and you're living under condemnation. You're not living under the grace that was gifted to you through Jesus Christ at Calvary. Amen. 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 You see, Romans 8, 26 and 27 and 28. Romans chapter 26, uh, excuse me, Romans 8. Chapter 8, verse 26, 27, 28, he says, And likewise, also the Spirit helps together with us in our weakness. For Amen. we do not know what we should pray according to, the, the will, uh, according, according to what God is needed. Okay? And, but, uh, uh, but the Spirit himself intercedes in our behalf. Amen. 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 Audibly. And amen. amen. Groaning. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 27 it says, And the one who searches our hearts knows what it is in the mind of the Spirit, because he intercedes with God on behalf of the saints. Amen. Amen. In verse 28 it says, And we know that for those who love God, he works all things for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. God has a purpose, okay? Yes, he does. And, and he's, he's not going to be done with us until that purpose is fulfilled, okay? Amen. God has a purpose for our life that we don't know until the Spirit reveals it. Amen. Oh, now, it's always so much better. His plans are, are so much better. What What is that verse? His ways are not our ways. But yeah, uh, it, it's... His, uh, his our thoughts heart, are higher than our thoughts. Thoughts and his ways are different than our ways. Amen. Because amen. he's holy. Amen. You know, as I was sitting there, he's, he's just speaking to me and he's, he's saying, don't accept poverty. Don't settle for less than what you are and in what you have through Jesus Christ. Don't accept what the world or people say. You know, um, he says, for all things I have given unto you. See, uh, When uh, are you going to stand up and take it? The, the, the thing is that, that we, we, we got to understand, okay, like, like when God called me, I didn't know anything. He taught me how to read and write Spanish, you know. Uh, he sent me, uh, I'm not organized, I wasn't trained, I wasn't ed- educated. But God said, do this, I did it. Amen. Because I didn't have to understand, because I knew one thing. You cannot understand, you can only obey God. That's right. Because he's all-knowing, and we're not, okay? Well, he's not looking for sacrifice, he's yeah. for obedience. So, so, so it, it, I was just obedience, and through the years, you know, as, as I look back, oh, 40-some years of ministry, and that, that uh, uh, all the things that God did, first of all, uh, uh, in Jerusalem, here, I started ministry inside General Motors factory, uh, uh, Bristol Road. There's a, uh, uh, right there in the, the metal factory, fab. metal fab. Mm-hmm. And uh, I started prayer meetings, and that became a prayer room. And the prayer room is still, still there, there, okay? Hallelujah. Said, uh, 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 remember that uh, the brother uh, uh, Joe Kiefer and, uh, and Brother Vargas, and we were praying in the warehouse. Uh, by, by the cafeteria, and then they eventually was walking by, and I didn't know he was a backslider. He was used to be the president of the union, and we call him on. We start praying together, <laughs> and God brought him back. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then, then later on, we know he was an organizer because of the president of the union, so he, he, he went over there and talked to the, the main people, mm-hmm. and, and then later on, they gave us a room, prayer prayer room. Well, that room's still there. A friend of yeah. mine uh, yeah. at work, her, uh, yeah. her dad works there, and, yeah. and I was just kind of sharing that testimony a little bit with her. I said, you know, I said, anything God does mm-hmm. will stand Amen. his word will not come back void and she's like wow well, and i started telling her i said you know my grandfather worked at the metal fab she goes my dad works there and he goes in that prayer room so yes. it's still there yeah yeah amen yeah and uh, uh some other friends that go to agape they work there they're still there yeah it's Typically. still there amen. and that's affected didn't close but grew bigger that's okay. right amen praise the lord that's right see if uh, we, we see here you know uh what we want in our life we want the purpose of god we don't want our purpose amen uh uh what purpose do we have? I mean, Our we're going to live for a little yeah, while. we're in the flesh. We're yeah. just going to fail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> His is perfect. Yeah, his you know? is perfect. He's got a perfect a purpose for us. It's whether it, you can walk through that and, and take the, you know, attacks that are coming from the world, trying to hold you and condemn you and lie to you. God says, just keep going. 
I had medical doctors, I had professionals, I had a BI agent, I have a lawyers, I have people that look at me and say, man, you're my mentor. <laughs> they say, man, do you know what kind of education I have? You know, <laughs> the only <laughs> thing I know is the Word of God. <laughs> Amen. Well, you know what? It, it, where your heart is. Yeah, do you know amen. what I mean? Praise you know, God. when I say you're my mentor, because cause God is my heart. He is my amen. everything. Amen. I mean, I could spend I could spend every day with Him. That's how great He is. And, and it did take me Thank getting you. in line and being obedient and listening to Him and seeking Him and staying in the Word. Word, you know, but but once you do, and that obedience is there, he, those windows of heavens open up, and he sh not only shows you things, he gives you things. I mean, he is just amazing, you know, and I, I, and I, I thank him for you. And I, I I I you know I think a lot of people have problems. Christians have problems. People who have problems because they're always looking at self. It's hard to let you self know. go. And, yes, and, it and, is. And they say, well, no, I've done this. I'm done. How can God forgive me? A God is always forgiven. That's right. He's wonderful. He's a loving God. He didn't send His mm. Son to condemn you. He sent His Son to set us free, to save us, Amen. to deliver us, and to make a new, to bring back what what Adam and Eve lost. He brought it back to to the seed of the woman, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. That He chose the Virgin Mary and Joseph that were related to King David, uh, way back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. Amen. So that seed came and was given to us, the hallelujah. Son of God, hallelujah, to shed his blood because no, no other blood could save us. Amen. Amen. So, so the, that blood can save us and bring back what Adam and Eve lost, eternal life. We, we have eternal life. Our spirit is going to live forever. Our flesh should go back to the dust, dust where it came from, but our spirit is going to live forever because while we live this world, God has a celestial body waiting for us. Yes, Amen. he does. Amen. And so we're going to be with the Lord. I remember when I, I I was having a lot of problems when my my late wife went to be with the Lord. And God, I, I asked God, show me what she said. And God, and God showed me. Mm -hmm. She wasn't having rejoicing and she was putting a wedding dress. Oh, boy. I said, what are you doing? You know, in a vision, more of a vision than a dream. I'm going to get married. I said, what do you mean you're going to get married? You're my wife. No, I'm going to get married. And she was young again. I said, I got out of that house, man. man what's the matter with this crazy woman? Going? She's my wife. Then later on, after I woke up a few days after, he showed me Revelations uh, 19, verse 7 and 8, around there. He said that he was a preparation for the Lord's wedding supper. Amen. Amen. So God showed me. Amen. Amen. And I, I also do my, well, years ago when my dad passed away, God showed me where he was. And there's, there's, there's something going on in the spirit world that you don't know. Our loved ones, they knew the Lord, they're more alive than we are. Amen. Yeah, well, he's just showing me, you know, if you think about it, a, a spirit-led life versus a law-led life, okay? Amen. When Amen. you're under law and then you're going to be under the condemnation, you're going to be under the guilt, the shame, the fear, and all of that, or a spirit-led life, you know, I have down here, the law is holy. It came from God, but the problem is we can't keep it in the flesh. No. Not no. possible. It's perfect. As God is, he used it to show them that you are not perfect in the idols and the things that you're worshiping. You know, when he shook the Mount Sinai, when he came down and he said, I am the Lord your God, there should be another God before me. He was talking to the people because back then he would speak to them audibly. And he shook that mountain in anger, like, what are you doing? You know, and, and they thought they were perfect and they could do it. And that's where the Ten Commandments came. So, yes, it is holy and it is perfect as God is, but we can't keep it, which is why Jesus Christ had to come and why he came and delivered all of us. You know, in Galatians 3, it says, if righteousness comes by law, then Jesus is dead in vain. Amen. Is that correct? Amen. You know, okay. so so you have to choose. Do you want to lead a spirit-led life or, or a law-led life? Because you will live under it. I'm going to choose to live under that spirit-led life and, and walk under that grace because He is mercy and righteous and, and and He gifted it to you. There's nothing you can do. You cannot earn it. Nothing you've done in the past He doesn't know about. He's been with you the whole time. So that's the enemy bringing that condemnation and that guilt and all this to your Oh, look at what you did. Yeah, well, I am forgiven and free and I'm going to get up. I'm going to keep moving. I'm I'm going to press on to the mark of the high call. Amen. You know, uh, uh, when God first called me, you know, saving, he went and go and ministry, get in the ministry. I said, God, I don't know anything. Uh, uh, I don't know. I said, I'm not worthy Lord, to, to use me as your servant. Said, Amen. He said, I don't know nothing. He said, well, he said, if I can use a donkey, I can use you. Well, then I qualify. I qualify. So, <laughs> if amen. I can so, use a donkey, I can yeah, use so, you. That's so anyway, true. You that, know? That, that, amen. That, that's what he told me. Amen. <laughs> In 1 Corinthians chapter 14, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 14 and 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 14 and 15. 
It says, for, for if I would pray in the spirit, which is in tongues, my spirit is praying, but my mind is what is uh, unknown, okay? Uh, so then, what it is, I shall pray in the spirit, hallelujah, and I will pray with my mind. I shall sing in the spirit, and I will also sing with my mind, okay? Mm. Paul said, I, I will pray in the spirit, pray in the understanding. I will sing in the spirit, sing in, sing in the understanding. It's it just, uh, we want the whole man. God wants the whole man, amen. That's why we have to be careful. And another point that I would like to bring right here, for you that are condemning yourself with your mistakes and stuff in the past, hey, forget about it. God is already forgiving you. That's right. But that's why the reason, the reason that he gave us the Lord's Supper to maintain yes. a relationship with God. Not Hallelujah. only a relationship, a fellowship. Jesus took care of the relationship. Hallelujah. He made us sons of God. Amen. Amen. He took our place. And then he uh, uh, He gave us a... a, a uh, uh, he gave See, us, there at the phone. Uh, <laughs> shut it off. I don't know. He shut it right off. There. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry about that, Chief. <laughs> anyway, he got this new phone yesterday. He's anyway. learning it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, see, see the, the thing is that God wants to get you out of condemnation. He Amen. wants to get you into uh, 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 a fellowship, relationship, fellowship, relationship, fellowship. Not a religion. Religion was under the Old Testament, under the law. Okay? And even now in churches, you got a lot of religion going on trying to control people. No, 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 no. And condemn people. No, 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 no. God has given us an abundance of grace to teach us and guide us into all truth. Amen. Yeah, Isaiah amen. 28, verse 12. Uh, uh, and Isaiah 28, yeah. Isaiah 28, verse 11 and 12. It says, For he will speak to his people with stammering lips yes. and another tongue, to whom he said, this is the rest with which you may cause mm. the Thank weary you, to rest. And this is the refreshing, yet they would not listen. Uh -huh. mm. Okay? There are a lot of people right now, a lot of Christians, they do have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, but they don't practice it. They don't reveal themselves. they are like, hey, you can't run your, your car without a, without gas, amen? Amen. You got to put gas. You got to well, put gas. You can't, you can't be serving God and being a witness without refilling yourself with the Holy Ghost because Hallelujah. the Holy Ghost is our helper. He's going to help us, lead us, and guide us into all, all truth. truth. We Hallelujah. need the Holy Spirit. And if you don't pray in the Spirit, I'll tell you, uh, if you haven't baptized in the Holy Spirit, you need to go to your pastor it, 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 you know, then tell them about it. You need to be baptized in the Holy Ghost because you need that prayer language. Amen. 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 Well, in Galatians, you know, God told them, I'm going to make a new covenant, a new agreement, and it is grace, grace through Jesus Christ. And in, up here I have written down in verse 9, it's not like the old when I led them out of Egypt. He's saying to them, I'm not going to make another covenant where man gets to decide. Amen. Meaning if you do good... I do for you, or where my favor, my mercy depends on you, leaning on to yourself. Mm. No. He says you have to know what to do when the devil shows up so that you have the victory. Meaning stop depending on self. Depend on God. It's not about your efforts. It's know who you depend on and just say, I depend on Jesus. You know, because the old covenant, it did depend on you. Could you keep the law? Could you do this? Could you do that? And that's how it was decided. He says, for I am going to make a new covenant where it doesn't depend on yourself. It's already done. That's grace gifted to you through Jesus Christ. That's why I wrote that song. It's all about oh, Jesus. Jesus. It's all, all about, about him. him. Sweet, Sweet Holy Spirit. Spirit. Now and you're living in me. Pour out your glory, your love and your peace, your sweet anointing falling on me. Pour out your glory, your love and your peace, your sweet anointing falling on me. You came from the Father through Jesus the Son. To lead us and guide us, thy will to be done. Pour out your glory, your love and your peace, your sweet anointing 
falling on me. Pour out your glory, your love and your peace. Your sweet anointing falling on me. Esto lo de Cristo, esto lo pare. Santo Espíritu, hoy vives en mí. Derrama tu gloria, tu amor y tu paz. Con tu presencia en este lugar. Derrama tu gloria, tu amor y tu paz. Con tu presencia in this lugar. Amen. 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 I knew you were going there with it. The Lord said, here we go. <laughs> you're, you're we're going into it. You're in the heavenly language. I got you know? it all. <laughs> you know, that's what the Bible says. I got Jesus Christ. I yeah, got yeah. it all. That's what. Yeah. That's all we got to say. Well, see, the Bible <laughs> says Chicana glory, but the many mistakes, Chicano glory. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. He spent enough time with this man, you know. He's, he's Chicano pretty glory. Funny. Amen. He's a, he's a jokester for sure. Yeah. <laughs> now, Hebrews is fifth chapter. Amen. Hebrews, the fifth chapter, verse 14. Hebrews, the fifth chapter, verse 14, said, But solid food is for the mature mm. saints, That's those right. who have exercised for themselves the senses that are trained by practice mm. for Hallelujah. distinguishing or discerning both good and evil. Amen. This is where a lot of things happen when you're trying to serve God and follow the Lord. Anytime you're doing something good for God, the enemy is going to be there to discourage you. Oh, yeah. He's, he's going to come hard. try to make you trip. He's going to try to make you fall. But he's a liar. He cannot stop you. And he always Amen. brings the same tricks. Yeah. You got to remember Amen. that. Amen. He can't. He doesn't know any. He just keeps coming with the same tricks, yeah. the same circle. It's the same circle. This is what I'm going to use to hold you down. This is what I'm going to use to control Amen. you. This is what I'm going to use to condemn you. If you're not in the truth, you're not going to recognize it. You're going to fall Amen. victim to it. Oh, Amen. Amen. I have to do this. And oh, they're not going to like me. Who cares? <laughs> Oh, Who cares? God. You are God's child. Who cares whether they, the world likes you or not? <laughs> you know, uh, we know the difference too. You know, like, like when they're going to bring a message about uh, with tongues, you know, with a prophecy. Okay, Amen. Uh, uh, we know that you have to have respect. You got to have order in the church. Okay, if, if there's uh, two or three messages in 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 uh, in, in, in tongues, uh, there has to be an interpreter, That's somebody right. with the gift of interpretation, and interpret what what that language is saying. Because there'll That's be right. some people that don't know or understand; they'll be confused. Amen. Yeah, they're like, "What is going okay. on here?" <laughs> okay, in First Corinthians fourteen, First Corinthians fourteen, verse uh, uh, yes. uh, twenty-eight, it says, 28. "With in, it said with interpreter, if there is a matches in tongues." Okay. Praying in tongues sets you free from contaminating with the world. Amen. Well, it, it's Worthy. between you and God. Amen. Uh, the, the praying in tongues is praying for something you don't, you don't in your life. You don't have in your life. These are tongues of angels not of humans. Amen. Amen. Well, if you but, sat here speaking in tongues all day long, nobody out there knows what you're amen. saying. I amen. don't know what he's saying. This is something between him and God. Amen. So if you don't have that interpreter there for when that word comes in that aspect, amen. it's it, it, what he's it, telling it, it, you. It's the spirit man. It's the spirit man That's praying. That's right. Like I notice when I minister, a lot of people know, well, brother, how can you uh, say this is going on, this healing and this thing, and what are ways and what are not is, well, I'm praying in the spirit. See? Yes. When I'm all prayed up in the spirit, the spirit of uh, the Holy Spirit will quicken my spirit and show me what the type of healing that's going into service. See, mm -hmm. so I'm, I don't. And go, you cannot. You. It's almost like a visual thing you see in right, your spirit. Right, you know, amen. and I've seen it quite a few times. And you was praying last week, and I kept seeing that woman's organ. You know, I yeah, kept yeah. seeing her ovaries and whatever. So that woman you prayed for last, I know she's healed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know yeah. she's healed. Uh, she was, was there cancer. last night, and uh, the pain never came back. Amen. And she go to the Dallas and everything. Oh, you know, I didn't doubt it. I knew. You know, we had um, the other day when we left um, uh, the the bar dinner for the homeless. You know, and I seen a friend had posted something about his child, and, and right away went into prayer for him. You know, and the next day the enemy, of course, posts a picture of her laying there. I said, "Oh, you are such a liar." I do not uh -huh. doubt the Lord because I know it's already done. Amen. And then a little while later, he posts a video of her up running around. You know, that's Amen. Jesus Christ. It's done. All we have to do is stand on it, no matter what it looks like, no matter what you think or what you feel because faith is not connected to our five senses as uh, my grandfather has taught us all very well. Amen. You, you know, this is uh, uh, one uh, this is why Jesus always said, only believe. Yes. 
only believe. Yes, okay. Lord. And and I was amazed. I was studying. No, I have a I have a, a, a Jewish and Greek uh, a Bible in English, and and uh, uh, I like what it says in uh, 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 Hebrews eleven mm -hmm. or Mark eleven, Mark eleven twenty four. It said, "Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive." Yes. Well, in the Greek it says, "Whatsoever thing you desire when you pray." Receive. receive, yes. Receive, see. That word believe is receive, yes. and it shall come to pass. Yes, Lord. So the minute you pray, receive. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. I, I like to read uh, some, several points here. Uh, you know, the, the, the faith, uh, in, you know, the, the Father, you know, in action. Hallelujah. First, we got to be thankful. Mm -hmm. Always be thankful. Okay? Yes. No matter what you're going through, be thankful that God is with you Amen. and that God knows your heart. He knows your needs. He'll work he work all things out he, for you. He, again. he has everything in control. Okay, Amen. you're not just like everybody else. No, you are the son and That's daughter right. of God, and you he, are a prince and he, a princess. Yeah, He's taught for us. I like uh, Jeremiah 29, uh, verse 11. Hallelujah! He said Amen. the thoughts that He has for us is peace, yes, and not and not evil, good. And, and, and to have a good ending. Amen. Amen. That's what his thoughts for us is. Can you imagine God thinking about us? Hallelujah. Nothing but good things. Amen. Amen. Now, second is the purpose. Amen. The purpose in your life. You've got to have a purpose. And the purpose, first of all, to seek first the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness. And all, all these things else. shall be added unto you. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you. So Lord. Uh, I think Matthew 6, 33. Okay. Now, and the second is praise. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Continually praise him. Praise him. Praise him for everything. Hallelujah. Even those things and the uh, 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 the prayers that they have not been answered yet, just praise him. Praise him. The thing that you're asking God for, just praise him and thank him. Praise him. Praise him. Amen. Amen. And, and number four is faith. 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 Okay, now uh, in the Hebrew also, uh, I, I noticed that that the, it's a little bit different in, in, in Hebrews eleven one. Okay, mm -hmm. it says it, it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the, the the evidence of things not seen. Well, in the Greek it says now 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 uh, now now trust mm -hmm. instead of faith is trust. Yeah. Now trust is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Trust in the Lord. That's yeah, right. trust. Amen. See, faith is trust in the yes. Greek. So, so it makes more sense. It's trust. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on unto well understanding. In all our ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct thy paths. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, pro yeah, Proverbs the, the third chapter, Proverbs the fourth chapter, verse twenty. My son, and turn unto my words, incline thy ears unto my saying, let them not depart from the mouth of thy own mouth. Oh, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. I get excited about the word. I uh, know. I always get excited. I'm like, let's do this. <laughs> yeah. My son, and turn unto my words, incline thy ears unto, uh, unto my, my ears. Let, uh, and, and so you, you got to be able, because the word of God is spirit and life, okay? Yes, it is. And, and, the, yeah. and the word of God has a voice itself. The Word of God has a voice, and we got to learn to hear that voice of that Word. Not just go and sit around and listen. No, there's a voice in that Word that you, when you go and the preacher or the pastor is preaching or teaching, that, that, that Word has a voice for you. He's speaking direct Amen. to you and letting you know, hey, where are the areas that you need to work in, okay? Mm -hmm. So, and that's faith. Faith, trust is, is trust, faith. Now, the, the, the other one, number five, is seed of uh, honor, seed of honor, okay? Amen. And like, you know, you honor me, you, you know, that's a seed of honor, okay? And uh, one day, we'll, they will honor you too, okay? Praise God. Now, the other one is the law of confession. There's a law of confession. There's a law of profession, confession, saying those things are not as though they were, proclaiming the word of God, that God is with us, hallelujah, that he'll never leave us nor forsake us, He's faithful, amen. amen, and he will do what he said he's already done, amen. amen. And then sowing and reaping, sowing Hallelujah. and reaping. Make sure wherever you go to church, uh, make sure that you put your ties in that church under that pastor or whoever's teaching you, okay? Now, offerings can go to another ministry, but the ties belong to your own church. Well, in Where, Greek, tithe means tenth. Amen, tenth, amen. You know, we just, you know, yeah, in ours it says tithe, but it really means tenth. It means a tenth. And not, and not only that, but the, we know that the, when you do that, the Bible said that God himself 
Eh? Yeah. Malachi, Malachi, the third chapter, third. okay? He says that he mm -hmm. will rebuke the devourer. Verse 10 and yes. 11 says, he mm -hmm. will rebuke the devourer for us. Amen. Amen. And if and, you're not doing your tithe, how are you, how's he going to rebuke the devourer? You can't be, well, I saw here, I said, no, no. You got to get your tithes first, amen. That's right. And then, then you can give the other, the other, other offerings, seed. the other seed to other ministries. But your church, your pastor, wherever you go and, and they're feeding you, that's where your tithes belong, amen. Oh, amen, Hallelujah. amen. I've Praise seen God. it many times. I was actually taught that through you, you know, amen. throughout the years, you know, amen. Praise and, God. and it is so true. You amen. you do your tithing, you know, and then when I would do that seed, you know, that extra seed, and and boy, the the glory and the, it just came. You know, I remember one time pulling in the driveway. You know, I had a hundred and forty dollars or whatever, and the Lord said, "Put that seed of a hundred. Put that seed of a hundred. Mm -hmm. I was like, "All right, I guess it'll leave me forty for the rest of the week or whatever." Mm -hmm. and, and I did it anyways. I was obedient, and I hadn't checked my mail for a week. Mm -hmm. You know, I was. Just just busy with work and the kids you know I have five kids and and all that's going on and and I finally pull in the driveway af right after I do the seed mm -hmm. and I get my mail it's just piled up you know and I look and there is a check in there for a thousand dollars I'm like if that isn't a hundred times full I don't know what is Lord. well see uh, for years uh, as an evangelist and not having a congregation to support me and everything I traveled and ministered and, and, and built churches and missions. They gave vans, trucks, everything that was doing. Hey, it was all by faith because I knew seed time and harvest. That's right. God supplied citywide revivals, everything, tents. I don't know, about three or four tents that I given away. Now we got another three tents. We got one in New Mexico, one in Texas, one here. Praise the God. And the key is this, sowing and reaping. Hallelujah. Uh, I tell you, I give more than my tithes. I mean, uh, uh, if I figure it out, I'll be giving more in, in offerings than tithes. Amen. Because tithe is only 10%. Amen. But I go beyond that. Well, he says to do the seed. You know, Amen. There's, Amen. there's four different kinds. There's alms, there's um, uh, your seed, there's your tithe, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, we're getting a little short here, guys. So I, I just want to run through a couple things, and then okay. and then we'll we'll say the salvation prayer and that. Mm -hmm. um, I encourage you guys, keepingfaithinyourears.com. Um, log on there. Get your stuff refilled. Some word for the day. You know, if you're just feeling the enemy attacking, get on there. Renew your mind. Get filled. Um, also, go to Jam for Jesus. Org. That will update you on all the revivals and events that are coming up this summer. I'm excited. I know the Lord's going to do a mighty move. You know, there's going to be healing, deliverance. You know, He's just going to break those chains, and and it's getting so close. You got, He's just going to pour out His Spirit as He says He's going to, and and I believe it and claim it and receive it, and I, and I'm excited. We're going to have a bunch of you. Um, I believe I'm going to have a meeting, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. The following Saturday at uh, 2044 Utley Street. At 2044 Utley Street. That is a week from this Saturday. So not tomorrow, a week from tomorrow at 2044 Utley Street, you guys. Off of Corona Road. Off of Corona Road, 2044. Yeah. It's right, right almost above 75 almost. So 2044 Utley Street. That's a week from Saturday at 7. It's, uh, no, I'm going to do it about uh, 6 o'clock. A little bit early for people that can't drive at night. Okay, so 6 o'clock p.m., a week from Saturday. Also, you guys, in an hour after we go off, you have uh, Pastor Pamela Lockhart, Hour of Compassion. I believe we will be on her show as well. Again, you guys, jamforjesus.org will keep you updated on the, the revivals that are coming up, the tent revivals, you know, all the pastors and evangelists and that that are going to be there. You need healing. You need deliverance. Please, I urge you to come out because the Lord is pouring out His Spirit and He is healing His people. He is delivering you because it's already done. All it takes is you taking that, take that step of faith and come out and just come believing you will receive and you will receive in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and say the salvation prayer, you guys. You can always call me. My number is 810 449 2247 if you need prayer you have testimony you want to share it's by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimonies i have i have no qualms i will bring you on here let you share that testimony of what the lord's done for you and healed and delivered Amen. you of Amen. um again my grandfather uh, evangelist roy castro you can reach him his number is 810-569-1021 810-569-1021 you can always call the station as well 810-208-1854 Keep us in your prayers as we travel through, you know, and we start getting these meetings going and these revivals and things. Just keep us in your prayers that that, that people do come and that they do receive from the Lord and, and um, 
also keeping them around my grandfather. Um, I ask you to lift up Flint Talk Radio. I know the Lord's doing a mighty move in this station here, and, and we're, we're believing that he's going to have us televised here, you know, in a short period of time because that's our God. He's a big God, and nothing is impossible for him or for us through him. Amen. 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 So we'll, we'll go ahead and do the salvation okay. prayer. Whoever's listening, uh, even if you're already saved and you just want to recommit yourself or or you want to say, Lord, fill me with your spirit, you know, say this with us. Um, you don't have to know what you're saying. He says to only believe, to believe in your heart. That's it. To only believe. And I'm going to give it over to you, Grandpa. Just humble yourself as childlike yes, faith. Childlike faith. Thank okay. You, Jesus. Sincerely. Just repeat worthy, this prayer. Lord. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of the Lord Jesus forgive Christ, me for all of my sins. Forgive me for all of my I sins. I do believe. I do believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. In the Lord Jesus Christ. That He shed His blood. That He shed His for blood all of my sins. For all of my sins. He died and was buried. He died and was buried. But I believe. But I believe. He rose again from the dead. He rose again from on the, the third dead. day. On that third day. And He is at the right hand of the Father. He is at the right hand of the Father. And in my heart forever. And in my heart forever. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For my salvation. For my salvation. And for my household salvation. For my my household salvation. In Jesus' name, In amen. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like to sing Hallelujah. this song. Yes. Lifting up our hearts mm. to love Him. Thank you, Lifting up our hands Lord. to praise Him. Yes. Open Thank up you, our lips Jesus. to thank Him for what mm. He has done. Yes. Lifting up our hands in mm. surrender. Living in His life and all His splendor. Mm. Living in the faith that is working by his love. Hallelujah. Look upon the biggest sinner Amen. whose life has never been so cleaner. Yes, Since the blood of Jesus cleansed me from all of my sins. A new creation now he made me. The promise in his word he gave me. And now the peace and love of Jesus lives in my heart. Without his life there is no living. Without his love there is no loving. For God is love and he's the author of our faith. That's why me must keep on believing through grace it is by faith receiving eternal life that god the father gave through his son lifting up our hearts to love him lifting up our hands to praise him open up our lips to thank him for what he has done lifting up our hands in surrender living in his life and all his Splendor, living in the faith that is from up above. Lord, we just love you, Lord. Learn to praise and worship God. Learn to make love to God. He's a loving God. He loves us. He gave us all that He had for us. He gave His only begotten Son. Now, listen, you don't have to be a Pharisee, long prayers. Just be you. Be simple. Humble yourself. Say, God, in the name of Jesus, I love you. Just you and God by yourself. Worship him and praise him. He don't make mistakes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I I guarantee you that he's going to come into your life, help you, give you strength, give you wisdom and guidance in in all your life. And and you're going to be fruitful because you're going to be used of God in a mighty way. Amen. 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 You know, he he made you. God don't make mistakes. You know, he is perfect. He is the almighty God. So so if you're looking at yourself, I don't know why he wants me to tell you this, but but somebody out there, you feel like you're a mistake or you're no good or, or, or that you're just not right or everybody else is different. God made you. Amen. He doesn't make mistakes. In his he own made image. you to be you. In his best. image. In his image. He made you to be you. Every single one of us is a part of him. He made you to be who you are. He has a purpose for you. I don't care what they say. You seek him. You trust in him. You get out and away from those that are speaking these things against you and on you because it is a lie. It is a lie from the enemy to control you, to depress you, to have you oppressed and down. I tell you right now that you are a child of God. You are forgiven and free 
through Jesus Christ. I don't care what the past has held against you. You stand up and you start moving. Get in the word. Get in the truth. Press on to the mark of that high call. Amen. 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 So just keep Flint Talk Radio up in your prayers, you guys. And if that's you and you want to share your testimony or anybody out there, please do call us here at the station. And be safe and healed. Amen. 810-208-1854. Join us live here every Friday at noon on Flint Talk Radio, you guys. Amen. God bless. And we will see you guys next week. And we will keep you updated on the revivals. And do not forget, a week from Saturday, 2044 Utley Street, prayer and healing Here. meeting, Evangelist Flint. Roy Castro, 6 o'clock, Flint, Michigan, 2044 Utley Street. Right. Amen? Amen. We'll see you guys next week. God bless. Amen.